It's a place where water from the bay is piped in on demand for research, and tanks of eelgrass are studied to help buffer sea level rise. We take it out and we plant it in the bay, and we did about three acres of restoration last, um, last week. Welcome to a mile-long stretch of Marin Bayfront known as the Estuary and Ocean Science Center in Tiburon, a 53-acre campus run by San Francisco State. For the past 45 years, it's where researchers and students have studied the changing waters of the Bay and Pacific. We study almost anything you can think of that affects estuarine and ocean health. So we're interested in water quality. We're interested in reintroduction of sea otters. We care about how crabs are using reef structures because they use them as habitat. Jivon Kaki is a grad student studying reefs, invasive species, and oysters. It's important because we care about oysters. Oysters are definitely threatened in uh, San Francisco Bay. But the center and its 15 resident faculty are at risk of losing operating funding from the university. This historic site, once a Navy facility from the 1940s, could close its doors for good. We really are on a timeline now where we have to develop a fiscal and operational sustainability plan and that means basically self-support. Boyer says she needs to come up with about $2 million per year to run the operation and keep the lights on. That means getting creative about fundraising and repurposing historic buildings on site. A part of the fundraising effort could be used to renovate these World War II era Navy barracks into affordable housing. They could be leased to graduate students and teachers and first responders who can't necessarily afford to live in Marin. I'm very confident in our ability to find secure funding sources. Many are optimistic money can be raised. The alternative would mean lost research and some students not pursuing careers in ocean science. Not having this facility means a lack of that training and lack of that support for our state and federal agencies. Boyer and her colleagues are working on a financial proposal which they plan to show university officials this month. A final decision is expected this summer.